everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks with a behind the scenes video. As of April 15th, 2021, I'm going to show you how the Lego room has been evolving since I moved into my new place. Let's see what's in store. Yeah, it's not pretty, is it? So, it's not done. It's maybe half done <laughs> by this point. And there's just a bunch of stuff that's crammed in here for storage. Uh, for a while, it's been used as just a oversized storage closet. And some things have been moved around into other rooms or disposed of, you know, some furniture that was no longer needed from the original place I was in. Um, and still working with this. But the sterilite drawers have an idea as to where things will go and where it's going to evolve. With this room, I've measured it dozens of times and figuring out what kind of place this was going to be. Was I going to use it for... I don't mind that it's a dryer. Um, for this place, was I going to make it a completely brick-based workshop? Like, there were just going to be piles of bricks all over the place and just building table? Was I going to have any actual displays in here? Was I going to have any mocks in here? Um, was I going to have the beach town, Studside Heights, brought back into here? Well, I'm doing a little bit of each of them. I had tried to figure out if I could do just one or the other, and while that is possible, I did look again, and I'm like, oh, it actually does have room to fit both, and just reduce a little bit on each end. Mostly on the beach town side of it, because originally it was a 6x3 table with a 3x3.5 three three connected to it, that other table isn't going to be there. It's just going to be a six foot that's stretching across this way and then three feet out this way. It will have to be redone as far as the layout itself. It's not going to be exactly the same as before, but I am looking forward to how that's going to play out. Probably going to have like the beach on one end of it on like the left hand side or something like that. And then it gets a little bit more um, residential and industrial as it goes along. I'm going to try to make some layers to it and things like that, but that'll be for a later video. As of now, let's see. I'm trying to move past the other junk that's in here and would have to move into other rooms or in other ways. There's a whole lot of Sterilite drawers that I've actually stacked upwards because that's been basically the motto of Studside Heights. If I can't expand outward, I might as well expand upward. Hence the name of it being heights, you know, building building more taller or more layered. And luckily the sterilites can follow in that suit because they are modular and they actually can be rearranged and stack on top of each other. So you can make some big stacks here. Even the larger, wider ones can stack up, which I, I didn't know up to this point that those could, but I'm happy that they can. And then a couple more like that over here. There is a closet on this side, which I'm still working through. Nothing to show for now, but probably would be inheriting some of these sterilite drawers. I do have more of them that are at home that I need to bring here as well as obviously the table. But um, we'll get to that when we get to that. Now, as far as the building aspect of the room, there is a building table in here once again. There also have some sterilite drawers underneath there. So... It's easy to access parts that will, you know, be thought to be sorted and work all that out. I have actually been um, putting a little bit of display stuff in here with this shelf. It, it's basically been like a, I think originally it was some kind of like big walk-in um, clothes closet. That's why it has a whole lot of these hangers with bars on them um, to hang clothes. It felt very claustrophobic and I'm not claustrophobic. So... Uh, I've been able to use this shelf up here to try to put up some displays, whether it's going to be of mocks or sets, it has yet to be seen, but for now, getting uh, Ninjago City in there for some perspective. There is a space behind it because I want to put Ninjago City docks in there, which I have to build because it's still in the backlog, but theoretically, there should be room for it. And hey, I could probably even fit <laughs> Destiny's Bounty finally putting all three of those together. I don't plan on getting Ninjago City Gardens for right now, so just having those three sets, Destiny's Bounty, Ninjago City, and Ninjago City Docks all together is beautiful, in theory. Hopefully it does actually work. Now, what's more exciting about the room that is a little bit more complete is up here. A whole bunch of these top shelves I could either take out or use them. And I decided, let's make good use of them. This is my Lego plush collection. 
and they're double layered. So some of them are behind each other. The holiday editions of Star Wars figures are behind each other. I even have some of the keychain plushes in there from the Lego Movie 2. Benny is still missing. I, I didn't get one. I, I got one, sent it to Brickstar, and then I didn't get another one for myself, and they just vanished from shelves. And then we have a whole bunch here from... Yeah, I tried to make them thematic. Got the costume figures up there. We've got Batman over there. I did see recently banana costume is available at Target, and so I would love to add that in there at some point. Have to keep the space open for the vent, obviously, but I could still probably fit something right below it if I have the right things for it. And then we got Ninjago and a whole bunch from the Lego Land and just Lego Duplo Bunny because where else is he going to go? A little bit of miscellaneous there, but it's all good. So yeah, I figured those would be good to put on top shelves like this because if they fall over, they're not going to break. They're going to be very soft. Um, if I need to reach them, it's not that bad or it's not that, you know, treacherous. I mean, I could just stand up on a chair or a step stool or something, but they're also not, you know, extremely heavy or anything like that. Like, yeah, like putting an Ninjago City up there. Oh, I do not want to see that because the drop test would be terrifying. And then, uh... It just looks good. This has a really nice look to it. Obviously, I still have the uh, ceiling fan in there and the light there. I may actually add another light or so around this desk if I actually use this for, for building on camera or... I haven't really figured out any kind of YouTube studio. That has never really re-entered my mind. <laughs> but this could work as that if it's cleaned up enough. And again, having the proper lighting for it, it could work. Uh, and also assuming that the height wasn't an issue for anything built there. I think Ninjago City itself would be just cutting it close. Ninjago City docks could probably be built here, no problem. So, there's a look around at the Lego room for right now. It's of April 15th, 2021. There's still a lot to do. There's still things at home I need to bring up here, or down here, I'm technically south. But, uh... It's, it's already got an idea of where things are going to go, and it's going to look great when it's there. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Peace, love, and fun.